What's happening guys, welcome back to some more Pokemon Sapphire Nuzlocke in the last episode. We took on the 8th and final gym of the Hoenn region, and uh, not small steep, Sutopolis City, and we defeated Juan. No, not Juan, that's, that's a different game. We are going to... <sighs> Sutopolis, that's what it's called, yeah. Um, Wallace's name, yeah. What a great start to this episode already, remember to make a mistake. So, we are at the end of the game, guys. Like, we have no more gyms to face. All we have left is the Elite Four, and there's only one more obstacle in our way before reaching the Elite Four, and that is the Victory Road. And am I going to the right place? No, because I'm by Moss Steve. I always do this, like, I have to go south of um, Moss Steve City. And I keep calling Sutopolis City Moss Steve. I don't know what's with me, guys. Sorry. This is going to be a great episode, can't you already tell? Um, we have one more obstacle in our way before reaching the Elite Four at the... I, I don't know what it's called. <laughs> I don't know, I'm, I'm drawing a complete blank right now. But, let's keep going south. And I probably went the wrong way in! But we got Victory Road before the Elite Four. I'm glad I restocked up a lot of super repels because I am making a lot of mistakes right now. Let's go this way, I believe. And I don't want to face you right now. Okay, yeah, I'm going the right way. So we got one more obstacle in our way before facing the four, and that is Evergrande City. And it, I don't know really saying how this is a city because we get here, but. There's, it's not a city. It's just a Pokemon Center. All right, whatever. Evergrande. Well, people say Grande. I just go Grand. The uh, Paradise of Flowers and Sea and Pokemon. So here we go. We got one more obstacle in our way, and that is Victory Road. Now this is our last chance to catch a Pokemon here. So hopefully I can find something usable here. So let's keep on going. And oh, I had a repel up. So I believe there's like three Pokemon we can potentially catch right now. Well, four. Not counting evolution. And we're going to be find a Loudred! Okay! You know, that's... It's not what I was looking for. But, you know, I'll, I'll take it. You know, I do have... No, I don't mind. I will not be taking this because I have a Wismer. And if I do decide to raise the Wismer to a Loudred, then I... Yeah, so... I'm Since I already have... Uh, Wismer, I'm not catching the, the Lazard, so we actually have, I'm using my five attempts here. I don't care what you guys say. My rules, I'll do what I want. So, I, I totally forgot Lazard could be caught in this area, so that, that's pretty cool. I, I explained to, to you guys how I never really used uh, Wismer, Lazard, Exploud, and speaking of Wismer, there one is. Not interested, uh, amigo. I don't know why I'm yawning. I've been up for a few hours. And I ate my breakfast and you know, had some coffee. So I don't know why I'm uh, yawning a lot. But here we go. A Lairon. Now, this is one of the Pokemon I was interested in catching because, you know, kind of um bring a little bit of variety to our team. You know, it, it, we, I do have a rock type, I'll be honest, because um, I took the um, Relicanth we caught not too long I'm not killed it. That uh, we caught not too long ago. And I raised up a, a some level, so it's caught up with the team. So we're gonna be having two, you know, rock types. You know, I, I add two water types. Not, I don't have much diversity in my box, so I'm just using what I have. And Pokemon I kind of want to use. That's why I took the the Relicant. But there we go. We got the Layron. So I'll definitely be training him up before the Elite Four. Layron feeds on iron contained in rocks and water. It makes its nest on mountain where iron ore is buried. As a result, the Pokemon often classes with humans mining the iron ore. So, Lairon. We're gonna name you Larry. You know, Larry the Lairon. You look a little, it looks like it suits you, my friend. Now we can not worry about well, Pokemon and just continue to move forward. Here we go. It's our, it's our first battle in the Victory Road. Now, the Victory Road is the, the the, the last challenge before the Elite Four. This is where the toughest of the tough come. And you have a Roselia. Well, apparently that's... You don't look very threatening there, my friend. With your Roselia. With my flying bird that's going to feast on you. 
and there's nothing you can do here, my lovely lady. I don't know why I call you lovely. I don't, I don't even know you. You know, I'm trying to give a compliment. You know, I'm, I'm a nice guy. That's that's what I do. So, adios, Roselia. And Nimbus is level 46. All right. I, I also, you know, raised up my Pokemon a few levels. Did I? Yeah, everybody's you know around the same the same level. You know, let, let's use Flounder a little bit. You know, show him some action. And I I I knew we had a feeling. I well I had, knew I kind of had to use slides. That's why we have Jimmy Jam here, the Volbeat, chilling us within our party. And that's all you do. Okay. So we have strength as well. Hopefully, I don't need a Rock Smash because I'm not in the mood to teach someone another HM. So hopefully, I just need this stuff. Really, not that hard of a puzzle. And yep, I need Rock Smash. So looks like I'm gonna teach someone Rock Smash again. You know, I do have a lot of TMs here. I have. Hold on, let's see what I have. I I have Water Pulse that I could teach somebody. Ice Beam, Earthquake, Shockwave, Overheat. Yeah, I got some nice TMs. I'm probably gonna be using. Um, probably right before the Elite Four. Okay, Rock Smash, who am I going to teach it to? You have Waterfall, you have Surf, you have Strength. You know, let's, let's give it one to Fingers, you know, just to uh, distribute stuff. And yeah, I'm going to get a Furious Swipe. Nimbus, no, every single one of my Pokemon has an HM. I, I feel good. Okay, so Fingers, step to the plate. Let's go. Become a crucial member of the team now. You're not completely useless. I believe this is the A. I believe this is where we go. You know, another battle. Let's see what this guy has. You know, I don't. I only remember like one trainer, and that's the guy you face at the end. But you, he has some few Pokemon. You have a Do Trio. That's nice. Oh, yeah. You, I he I gave him Waterfall and Ancient Power. He leveled up. And the Dive Ball looks so cool when you throw it out. Like, I really like in this game how when you throw a Pokeball, you actually see it. Like, I remember when the, um, in previous games, uh, second generation where you used different type of balls, the, they were just the same. They looked the same. But I love how you can see the, the, the distinct difference and everything. Oh, Ancient Power, I got the, it has, it has the, the chance of raising all your stats. That, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. So, Flounder, in its first official battle on screen, did some nice stuff. And a Kadabra. Let's just waterfall this up. What does the roleplay do? Don't you get like my ability or something? Yeah, you get my ability, Rockhead. And that only really applies to like one of my moves right now. It's takedown, and I believe. Do I get another. Where? What's other self inflicting move besides like takedown? I know there's like head smash, but I don't think that was in this generation. There you go, Flounder. What, what sucks is that wa water is special and uh, Rutlicant is physically based. So, that kind of sucks. But they forgot Ancient Power. Ancient Power in later games is actually special, but since this game, Rock type is physical, it works. So, that, that, I'm glad I gave it that. I was actually kind of hesitant uh, when I was level, uh, learning it at first. I'm like, wait, it's special though. But now I, I remembered that it wasn't. And I believe we continue going north. Hopefully, I don't screw this up. Okay, I, I didn't, but there's an item here. Hopefully, we get some cool in the HMs, because, you know, I might teach some Pokemon stuff. Uh, full of store. Not what I really needed or wanted, but let's just keep on going. You know, I thought this actually would be a lot harder than originally it was. No, I don't gonna go this way. Oh, another trainer coming up, guys. Uh, I might cut this one out depending on how long it is. Uh, how many Pokemon do you have? Please have one. Please have one. You have two. Yeah, I'm gonna cut this out. All right, see you guys in this battle. Do, 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 Okay, enough of that. Um, okay, so, you know, we, get, we gave Flanders some action. But, you know, my main man, Clyde. Let's let's see what he has to offer now. We got to actually have to serve. I, I forgot about that. Uh, I believe we have to waterfall up. And I remember in this game, if you guys remember the wind straights, I believe they talk about their son being a really strong Pokemon trainer, and I believe he's actually in this area, and I, I believe that's supposed to be him right there. I can't I can't remember, but there's always a lore about it, and 
I'm just gonna ignore that item. Hopefully, I went to the right place. I don't think so. Like I said, I've I've not played through this game in a really long time. Let's keep on shrugging through. That might be the, the last ladder before we exit out. So let's just strength this away. And don't hit the boulder to my right, because then it would mess everything up. And I don't want that. Because then I might have to leave and do all that stuff. It's like, nah. And yep. We are out of here, guys. I think we are. I think this might be the last trainer before we exit out here. Uh, lots of cool trainers in here. There's one Pokemon I'll keep this in. Cacturn! Okay, yo. You are no match for Clyde. I miss my character. You know, it would have been great to have it. Because originally, when I wasn't um, going to do a Nuzlocke, I was going to do a plain, normal uh, Pokemon Sapphire Let's Play. And Cacturn was actually going to be one of the Pokemon I was going to use my team. So, that was kind of cool. But, you know, I wanted to use something different. You know, get out of my comfort zone a bit. Like, I... Don't I do Nuzlocke, but I never finish them. So with the Let's Play doing one, I'm actually like going to finish it now. And there you go, that's it. And there's the exit right there. But it's Wally! Hi, George. I bet you're surprised to see me here. I made it all the way here, and it's all thanks to you, George. Listen to you. That time made me stronger. But I'm not going to lose anymore. I'm going to win. But the Pokemon who gave me courage and strength. Okay, here I come. So, our last battle with Wally. And I really like this because Wally actually has been someone we helped bring up in the world of Pokemon. And someone who is kind of also like a rival to us. Because Wally uh, thrives and wants to, you know, be better than us. He wants to become a strong trainer just like us. And he has, he's starting out pretty strong here with an Altaria and no Dragon Dance. I probably should have, you know, let mine learn Dragon Dance. And he's... He's getting kind of scary. Hopefully, you don't really have anything too like strong. At least I don't think you you will. And let's see. Okay, one more strength to do it. But you are using super potions, Wally. Good trainers don't do that. Look at me. I have not used a single potion at all. Stop it. How much let's do? You only have plus two. Okay, that did about nearly half. But you know it doesn't matter because you're dead. Alright, one of his Pokemon down. Who are you bringing out next? He has five Pokemon. No, I have five Pokemon too. You have a Delcaddy. So, I'm not going to deal with his shenanigans. So, I'm going to bring out my Altaria. I kind of forgot he had an Altaria. And you have Sing. The only reason why I brought out my uh, Altaria is because I don't want to deal with the, the, the its ability cute charm. And I don't want to get attracted. <sighs> I'll try to wake up, please. Wake up. Okay, that I, I'm pretty sure Delcaddy doesn't have any threatening moves. As you see, he has Fan Attack and Sing. My Fan Attack barely did anything to me. So, if you'd please wake up, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. Fl you missed. You missed. Oh, has assist. Okay, it's only Giga Train. Because if you guys don't know what Sist is, is that it's a move that lets you use any move that the rest of your party has. But you, it's randomized, so yeah, go figure. And you got paralyzed, okay. I think I might be giving Altaria Fire Blast. I might go back to the department store in Lily Cove and go teach that and get rid of... Uh, What's it called? Take down. You know, just give it a little free, free riding. And how badass is that? A, a dragon breathing fire. Like, how awesome. So, the second Pokemon down, and he has a Magneton. I'm going to get out of here because I am going to bring out Kipper. And I wonder when Kipper learns Earthquake leveling up. Maybe in the 50s. If that's the case, then one, I'm either going to train up for it, or two, I might just give him the, the TM for it because. I, earthquake will be beneficial for us because you know it's a really strong move. It's it's gonna hurt. It's gonna be hit, being hit like a truck by a truck. 
and his back town should not be able to live that perfect. And I believe his one of his Pokemon's was Roselia. You know, was it Grass type? And yeah, I thought so. Okay. Um. Bring out fingers! Because oh, I'm trying to use each one of my Pokemon, you know. You know, five, five my Pokemon versus five of his. And oh, that did a lot! Oh, there. I'm going to lose fingers. I didn't! Oh! Thank you, Jesus! And I can get crit too! I can get crits too! That's what you get! Fingers, man. The man. I don't know why I'm so hyped about that. Alright, his final Pokemon is that little Roth that he caught way back when we first started this Let's Play. And who have I used yet? Clark. Thunder. Ah. Yeah, sorry for the yawn. But uh, I don't feel like our, um, our uh, Relicanth can take it out. Well, it probably can, but I'm I'm very afraid of it dying, so I don't want to lose it. And he's using Double Team. You know, r really, Wally, you stoop to that level of doing that. I really don't like you. And you're using Super Potion. Okay. And oh my God, I'm not losing you. You want to stop this nonsense? Stop. Wally. Wally! No! St Wally, I'm going to kill you. I'm literally going to kill you if you don't stop this now. That's what you get, Wally! That's what you get! God. And that's why you're gonna die. You're lucky. Kipper gave you gave you some leeway. I mean, I'm gonna kill you with a mud shot. Come on. Kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. Come on, Kipper, don't miss. Oh, thank you, because that future site probably would have killed me. And I would have been pissed. Really pissed. Good job, Kipper. Good job, buddy. Whoa, George, you you're all you are strong after all. I couldn't beat you today, George, but one of these days I'll catch up to you. And with that being said, we've made it to Evergrande City. The location of the Elite Four. Entering Pokemon Link Center Gate. Here we go, guys. We've made it. Our journey has come to this. We've beaten all the trainers, all the gym leaders, and our rivals. Now it's time to take on the Elite Four. But we'll do that in the next episode. So, anyways, guys, thanks for watching this episode of Pokemon Sapphire Nuzlocke. If you enjoyed this episode, please leave a like. And I'll see you guys next time. Adios.